Okay, so welcome to another session of Business Startup Training. Today we're looking at um, building on the petty cash system. And so the last time we spoke about um, putting together the petty cash um, system in the chart of accounts, or so, well, it's just putting information in the chart of accounts in terms of the petty cash. Uh, we're going to move on from there into um, looking at uh, how we will journalize that information. So again, welcome. It's Business Startup Training. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm hoping that you'll learn something from this. Okay, so let's get into the meat of the matter. Okay, so we are going to go. Um, so again, as you said before, we actually had um, the initial, uh, uh, you know, um, adjustment made um, for the petty cash in the chart of account. So we're going to move on into the main thing. So let's go into accounts. And let's go into reports. And um, and then we'll go into journal. Okay, so we want to do a new journal. Um, so we're gonna create a new journal and the new journal is gonna be um, petty cash withdrawal. Uh, let's use the 16th as the date. Okay, it's gonna default to that. Um, I went ahead and um, uh, did some adjustments, but um, you, you'll actually see it in a minute. Um, so we need to look at the, the petty cash and we know that's uh, current assets as we had, first of all, put it together already. So it's 600. Um, and then the other account is gonna be the bank. I've already created a bank account and it's also in the current asset. So let's look, let's see current asset, HSBC. Okay, so those are the two accounts. Okay, so description is still petty cash withdrawal in both. So where is, you know, in accounting, we need to move information from one account to the next. So we're debiting the petty cash account at 500 and then we're crediting the bank account with 500. Okay, so the bank is going to lose 500. Petty cash is going to um, uh, be uh, debited with 500. We're going to make a post for that. And then once we post that, we see what happens. So it's posted. We can view the entry. So again, we can see petty cash. It's 500 there, bank is 500 here. So we can then move on. Uh, Let's go back to the balance sheet and check. So, it's April, 2020. Let's look at it in terms of, um, this financial year. Let's look at it today, update. So here we can see um, the bank is negative of 500 and petty cash is 500. Now, I mean, accounting is not necessarily correct because um, uh, it's a negative in the bank. Um, I could actually do another journal and put money in the bank and then withdraw it. But that's, that's for another time. But the main idea is to demonstrate a principle whereby you withdraw money from the bank and you debit the, um, the petty cash account. Once you've done that, you can then disperse it to, um, you know, the petty cash share uh, manager who would then um, appropriate it accordingly and then come back with the various receipts and then you can reconcile and, and um, integrate it in the system. So this exemplifies the principle of um, setting up a petty cash system in zero accounting software. I hope this is clear. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.